The Chinese-Australian writer Yang Kunjun has been arrested in China on suspicion of spying. Mr Yang has been detained without charge by Beijing since January. Australia has criticised the conditions under which he's being held, uh, prompting the Chinese government to warn Canberra against intervening in their judicial processes. Now, Mr Yang's wife, Yuan Rijian, uh, rejects the spying allegations. She says the family is devastated. <laughs> It's had a huge impact. Everyone is shattered. I've lost about five kilograms. I've been diagnosed with depression by the hospital. His older sister is also broken and can't sleep or eat. The whole family has collapsed. They couldn't believe it. But they're not surprised either, because he'd been writing political articles in recent years, so his family had always feared that this day would come. But they never thought that they would arrest him on such charges. Our China media analyst Kerry Allen has been looking at the talk about this and it is a subject for a lot of discussion. It is, yes. Um, and what's quite unusual here is that usually if somebody's been detained, a foreign national on espionage, their name won't be mentioned or there'll be some cagey details about it because they don't want, the, the government don't want social media users going and researching this person. Um, so, um, so they've been using the name Yang Jun rather than Yang Hung Jun um, in, in their official media reports today saying that, um, that he's been formally arrested on charges of espionage. But, um, but yeah, it was kind of assumed that this was going to happen anyway last month because his family had been made aware that, um, that he was being investigated. But, um, but between January and July, um, family and lawyers were, uh, they were not allowed to visit him or anything. So there has been a lot of concern. Uh, but yeah, today, big discussion on social media, um, lots of media reporting this and a big, big discussion online. And how's it, I mean, is he being criticised? Are, are Weibo users falling into line with the, the, the government's view of this? Very much so, yeah. Very, very strong comments from users saying that if he's a spy, he should get very, very strict punishments. So some people are calling for even the death penalty. They're saying that he should get life sentences. And, uh, and this normally, these kind of espionage sentences, the government can give very, very harsh sentences. I mean, we don't know what's happened yet, and they say they're still investigating. Um, so, yeah, the large scale is largely very much condemning him, even though he's not... But he's not been he does have some supporters, doesn't he? Uh, it might be harder for them to feel they can speak out. Yeah, well, one thing that's very unusual is that he still has a platform on Sina Weibo where he has hundreds of thousands of followers. I mean, it's not been active since January when he was, um, when he was detained at uh, Guangzhou Airport. But, uh, but some people calling him um, Brother Yang and um, very kind of nice terms towards him and saying that they're hoping that he's going to be allowed to be given a voice. Kerry, I'm sure we'll keep watching this story as well. Thanks very much for that insight there. And we're going to move on to another story now that the Chinese government will be watching closely. In Hong Kong, Chief Executive Carrie Lam says she won't step down, rejecting claims that she's lost control.